if you're not cooking your chicken wings like this i don't know what you're doing let me show you my favorite method and this is the african method of making chicken wings so first i have my chicken i went for the small chicken wings which is one bite and it's done i poured water and i added half of a lemon to just give it a wash and get rid of all the grams and all any yellow parts on the chicken you understand when you get a chicken there's like a yellowish stuff on there so i use this to just clean the chicken one after the other make sure you wash your chicken is very important in this step and once it's done you let it sit for like three minutes or five and once it sits for a little bit you drain the water you can use both hands, but I had one hand with a camera. Drain everything and give it a very, 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 very rinse. Make sure you rinse this chicken and make sure you check for any yellowish or any hair on the chicken. Luckily for me, this chicken that I was cleaned well, but I had to clean it extra for myself. So once you're done cleaning your chicken it should look something like this and i'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in my pan to cook it i just like to be extra so i went ahead and laid the chicken one after the other in the pan and make sure everything is laid beautiful if you're not extra you can just do it in a pot just like that the one that you rinse it in there but i like to be extra make sure all my chicken are laid and it is looking very very gorgeous it's looking very gorgeous don't use the same pan or anything you can use whatever pan you have in the house and the chicken does not have to be arranged like this just doing it for the camera you can put your chicken in however you want it <clears throat> but after you do this how you cook the chicken is det gonna determine how juicy and nice your chicken is gonna be you can have your chicken on the crispy side and juicy in the inside so <clears throat> i'm gonna add all my favorite seasoning into my chicken this is adobo this contains salt any seasoning that contains salt make sure you don't use much and this is my garlic powder you cannot you cannot cook a chicken and use garlic powder and i add my onion powder and i added a little bit of heat which is african pepper i know my husband was gonna eat so i didn't add much and this is my sazon all peppers or they call all peppers adobo it is very very good and it gives color and i went ahead and add ginger so ginger and garlic are most important in making any chicken so i went ahead and turned on my flame <clears throat> and you want to put it on the if you have the ones with the number you put it on six if you have the ones with no numbers you put it on medium and cover it up with no water the chicken is going to extract its own juice to cook this chicken with after five or six minutes i open it up and mix everything this part is important you want the chicken water to cook this chicken you don't want to be adding water in there when you stir it and cover it the chicken is gonna produce a lot more liquid to cook the chicken with and this chicken is gonna be cooked for at least 15 minutes on the stove top <clears throat> to make sure all the season is deep 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 inside the chicken and it's well marinated if you cook your chicken like this it marinates beautiful and faster and even the bone gets the all the juice inside it so i cover it back up and, and <clears throat> gonna give it a stir again and at this point my chicken is ready and if you have if you don't have air fryer you can use oil to fry but we're trying not to eat too much oil so i'm gonna be air frying this chicken and make sure i moved it around stir it together to make sure i have some of the sauce coated on this is the key so i'm gonna go ahead and lay my chicken beautiful just like this this is not cooked uh, this is not fried it looks like it's fried you're ready to eat you can eat it like this but i'm gonna go ahead 
and put my chicken in i've uh, already preheated my oven so it is a little bit hot if you're doing this make sure you should be careful <coughs> i just woke up doing this voice over so i cover it up and i'm gonna be cooking this for less than half hour less than half hour to make sure i got the best chicken so it's 27 minutes and i'm <clears throat> gonna bake it on 320 so it does not turn golden brown right away and makes it inside juicy you don't want to put it on high heat it's gonna ruin everything so i have here my dressing <clears throat> that i'm gonna be using this spicy sauce from walmart is crazy and i'm using ranch dressing and mixing it together this combination is fire so my chicken is ready and it is ready to be consumed and i didn't show in here but i have this season called something something it is very good for your food and i'm gonna be putting it on there but for some reason, I don't think you can get it because I got it on vacation. That is what made this look very beautiful and crazy looking. <clears throat> so I went ahead and arranged my chicken wings on my plate and we were ready to rack them. Well, this chicken wasn't going to survive in this house because we are going to attack it. I can't remember how many baby John ate. Baby Johnny ate. He ate like 10 and I ate and daddy ate too. So we attacked this chicken like... Ebola. So, this is the plate afterwards. We attacked it because the chicken was so amazing. Make sure you try it and you let me know. I love you all. See you guys in my next video and give me options of videos to make. Bye bye. Enjoy.